Hello there, my name is Balaji. I'm one of the engineers working on product at Sensible. I'm sure you have been watching all the videos on our channel where Abid gives a whole lot of information on options trading and the fundamentals of options trading. However, I thought I'd steal this opportunity to present a webinar highlighting a certain situation that I myself ran into when I was trading last week. So Sensible revolves around the motto of anybody can trade options. I also subscribe to that. Even though I'm a programmer at Sensible, I also am an options trader who makes a few bets on the side. This presentation talks about a, a very interesting trade scenario that transpired last week. So this is the trade scenario. It's 9.15 a.m. in the morning. There is a bloodbath on the Dow. The Dow index has fallen think around 200 points after nifty close nifty pre-market shows the bears on a rampage you know nifty has fallen 300 points in the pre-market trading so basically the market is opening at a gap down now if you're you're like me you you want to capitalize on the market fall right because when there's so much momentum in the market why wouldn't you get into a trade so the dilemma was what position would you take so if this situation seems very familiar, that's because you know this happened on 6th February and uh, this is how the graphs looked on, on that day at market open, where it opened at a gap down. Here's a question uh, to ask yourself, right? You want to get into this action, get in on the action ASAP. So you could have one of two views, right? Either for the correction pending, you would buy a put option at the money which at that point in time was 10400 or you could have a counter opinion which is that all the correction that had to happen is over and now the market is going to rebound so definitely you would want to buy right you you feel that this is where a buyer should enter and you want to enter the market as a buyer so you want to buy an at the money call so this was my dilemma two days back there was something about that trade that was troubling me. So being a programmer of Sensible, I was wondering what would the Sensible engine, which is in development, say? So I decided to plug in the trade scenario into the still in development product to find out. And what Sensible engine said was, don't go through with the trade. What actually happened at 9.20 when I wanted to enter the position, Nifty was at 10,375. Had I not stepped stopped to check the trade, I would have done one of the following. I would have bought a call at 386 or I would have bought a put at 393. At 9.30, Nifty was at 10,325 and here are the prices of both those options. If this sounds surprising to you, then you should definitely take a moment and pause and think about what is the missing factor here. Why is it that both the call and the put seem to be valued lower at 9.30 rather than 9.20? So basically, if you had entered the market, no matter which option you picked, you would have made a loss. Even if you consider a rebound to 10,550 levels, if you had bought a 10,400 call and if the market had rebound to 10,550, you would have still made a loss if you, if you bought the option at 9,20. What is it that I was missing? At 9,20, the implied volatility on an option was 44%. At 9,40, after the market somewhat settled, the IV crashed it fell to 20%. Remember, the market factors in everything. When the market is going through massive swings, that is, when it is suffering from high volatilities, then sellers who are selling you options obviously want a higher premium for the risk they are taking because the options that they are selling you are most likely, or rather, the options that they are selling you are rather likely to expire in the money right and if it does they would lose money and so for the higher risk that they're taking they want higher prices 
So what is the moral of the story here? If you ignore volatilities, you stand to lose money even if you get the direction and the magnitude, the magnitude of the move right. Always check volatilities before entering a trade. High volatilities are usually, and please take this with, it's bolded there for a reason because there are several ifs and buts to this statement. High volatilities are usually where option sellers would want to enter the market because when the walls crash, they would end up you know, buying the option back at a lower price and thus pocketing the difference. When the volatilities are high and they sell another person an option, they'd be selling it at, at a higher price. And when the walls crash, the prices will fall. For the very same reason, high volatilities are bad for option buyers. When buyers enter a high volatility market, they need to be aware of the fact that when the volatilities crash, they're going to end up buying high and selling low, which is a recipe for disaster. So how does Sensible come in to the picture? Sensible is primarily a trading platform which tells you when not to take a trade. We make sure that people commit as few mistakes as possible. The mistakes that people end up doing are either betting too much, betting before an event, which ends up you know, featuring high volatilities, or not keeping stop losses. This is very important uh, to factor in all of these things because the cost of mistakes can far outweigh the benefits of several good trades. So Sensible is actually the guy who stands next to you at the poker table and says, Bhai, kya kar rahe This is basically what we envisage the product Sensible to do. To be a final check that prevents you from making disastrous trades. I hope to interact more with you once we go live with the product, uh, which is coming very shortly. And I thank you for listening to this webinar. Please leave your comments and questions, if any, in uh, the YouTube comment section and we will we'd be happy to answer any and all uh, of the questions that you post there. Thank you.